Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about something important for the future of the restaurant industry. How we can bring sustainability into our food safety practices. We all know that food safety is non-negotiable. It's about keeping customers safe and maintaining trust. But here's the thing. Traditional food safety practices often overlook sustainability. Practices like excessive food waste, reliance on antibiotics in animal farming, and lack of transparency in sourcing all compromise both environmental health and public safety. This is where sustainability and food safety intersect and why we need a unified approach that integrates systems like hazard analysis and critical control point or HACCP source traceability, and also the use of non-antibiotic growth hormone methods. Let's start with HACCP, Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points. Basically, it's a system many of us already use to identify and manage food safety hazards, but it could help reduce food waste too. Researchers noted that in the U.S., Food waste uses 2% of the annual energy for consumption, 70% of the potable water, and 37% of the land mass. Berkowitz and colleagues argue that food waste in the food service industry occurs during various stages of the food preparation. Researchers also identified these stages as improper storage, kitchen preparation, service, leftovers, and consumer plate waste. Therefore, HACCP plays a crucial role in helping us monitor and control how food is stored, handled, and prepared, ensuring minimal food waste while maintaining safety standards. Another example to incorporate sustainability practice is how restaurants can use high-efficiency energy management systems, such as heating and cooling systems, tankless water heaters, energy star rated kitchen equipment, and low volatile organic compounds finishes. One of the companies that has already applied these green efforts is Chipotle. According to its 2022 sustainability report, approximately 65,000 megawatt hours were saved through energy management systems in its restaurants or enough energy to power over 6,000 homes a year. So by reducing energy consumption, restaurants can achieve a simple yet impactful balance between safety and sustainability. Now let's talk about source traceability. This practice tracks food from farm to table, ensuring transparency and accountability. Basically, this is all about knowing exactly where our food comes from and how it's handled along the way. If there is a contamination issue, it helps us pinpoint the source quickly and take action by recalling contaminated products. But what are the sustainability benefits? With source traceability, restaurants can prioritize suppliers who follow sustainable practices like using renewable energy or ethical farming methods. The third factor is the use of non-antibiotic growth practices in farming. For years, antibiotics have been used to speed up animal growth, but overusing them has led to antibiotic-resistant bacteria, a major public health crisis. So by partnering with farms that use non-antibiotic alternatives, we can support safer, healthier food systems. So here's the big takeaway. Sustainability and food safety are not separate goals. They are deeply connected. By using HACCP to reduce waste, there's ability to ensure ethical sourcing, and also non-antibiotic growth practices to support safer farming, we can transform the way we approach food safety. Let's take a look at our food safety systems and see where we can bring sustainability into the mix. Talk to our suppliers, explore new tools, and engage our teams. 
Together, we can make food safety practices not just about protecting people, but also about protecting the future. Thank you for watching.